Welcome to Startupathon, where your dreams of becoming a boss and CEO can come to life with 10% equity in a groundbreaking startup and all without needing formal qualifications. Imagine a world where your passion and determination are all you need to succeed. At Persist Ventures, we believe that greatness isn't about what you have, but what you can achieve. Your journey to the top starts with a spark of ambition and a relentless drive to make a difference. Guided by Jim O'Neill, founder of the Thiel Fellowship, the same program that empowered visionaries like Vitalik Buterin and Dylan Field, we're here to ignite your potential. These trailblazers didn't wait for opportunities, they created them, and so can you. Success isn't handed to you on a silver platter. It's forged through ownership and perseverance. With Persist Ventures, you're not just joining a project. You're stepping into the role of CEO with the tools, support and resources to turn your vision into reality. Our network will help you build, grow and fundraise, transforming your ideas into impactful successes. Think about the giants of the tech world. Uber wasn't profitable for a decade, but with unyielding persistence and strategic support, they changed the game. This is the power of resilience, and it's exactly what we offer you at Persist Ventures. We help you navigate the challenges, scale your ideas, and turn dreams into reality. Remember, it's not just about having a great idea, it's about the persistence and belief that drive you to make it happen. Together, let's turn ambition into achievement. Welcome to Startupathon, where your path to success begins today. What's up, guys? It's Jack, founder of Persist, here with Lucas. Uh, we both are super bullish on an idea for vibe coding for Roblox. So, Roblox has given out over $1 billion in payouts uh, just this year, and the top 100 of these developers earn about seven million per year, and this is you know increasing like crazy, uh, and the complexity of the games they're making is seven million each per year. Yeah, and that this is an average, right? So seven hundred million. There's obviously a power law here, but we think um, that we can actually break into um, this industry, this category, uh, this game making. Yeah, vibe coding is perfect for Roblox. It's a game world with some predefined assets. Uh, it's a place where young people are, you know, s unable to get into building the actual worlds and making custom worlds because of the gap. So it's a great way to get the youth into coding in general. This is the number one thing that comes up when you look for it. Um, it's a plugin. It's really not a full vibe coding thing. And this person's like, I don't have much time to develop this. I'll sell it. So he, he hasn't put any time into it. But the fact that this comes up number one when you search vibe coding for Roblox. Uh, here's someone who used an external version. Basically, I think going about this, you'll look to fork an existing vibe coding open source thing and build it into Roblox as much as possible. Um, so you can look at what some other people have done. This is... Even Roblox has their own AI, but this is for making just you know, 3D models. Just for the 3D assets. So we think uh, a platform and IDE can be made of this. Uh, for instance, uh, I'm you know currently working at Atrix Zero, and one of the incubator companies, anything, uh, has gotten a hundred million dollar valuation after hitting two million ARR uh, in just its first two weeks, and now is the most viral vibe coding product, which can also create games. Yeah, yeah, we we think this is a very replicatable thing with how many Roblox users there are that people would pay a subscription, um, and quickly you could hit two mil ARR and raise a bunch of money becoming the vibe coding substrate for Roblox. In particular, we think uh, you know, whoever is building this and will help with this should focus on the products first, that is, you know, get good at making the games, and that way you can get good at helping other people make the games through this uh, Roblox IDE. Uh, we were thinking tentatively, a funny name for this would be board games, like you know, being bored, uh, and you know, of course help teens get to vibe code uh, as you might have seen, Alexander Wang, uh, founder of Scale AI, and now at Meta, uh, has been telling teams to just be vibe coding. Yeah, so what we're looking for is obviously an MVP. Whoever can prove that you can build the initial MVP, even with an MVP, that means a working prototype. Um, 
I would say go to Roblox discords or communities, fi find people who have built servers, whatever you build, have them try it, get a little bit of that TLC. An MVP doesn't mean you know, a shitty prototype, it means minimum viable product. So the product should still be viable that someone would be willing to pay for it. The first person to ship this MVP for this product idea will become the CEO. If multiple people do it, we'll take the group of you, put you together, um, and then give you further resources and help getting it to a big launch and getting it then funded uh, down the line. Any other things? Yeah, I would say, you know, focus, of course, on making a good game, and even if you don't win, if you've made a good game, uh, there's, of course, a lot more to making a great game than just good code. You know, you need to think about the storytelling, you need to think about, you know, the audience. Most of these players are tweens, like 40% of them are under 13, and um, also, like, distribution, right? Can you, you know, get up to leaderboards, get people to share, the, have a good experience? If you look at Grow Garden, that's a great one. Uh, and if you also look at, um, you know, the second most popular game, which got probably really recently, is uh, Steal a Brain Rock. So this is some really topical stuff. And uh, we think with vibe coding, uh, you can make more topical, you know, cool games that you would also enjoy to play uh, and then make a platform and ID for doing that. Yeah, uh, the last bit that I'll throw into here is you can see a list of past Startup-a-thon winners uh, on the Startup-a-thon page. One of the most common things that the winner is is someone who is like stupid enough to believe that they could do this and realized it was their best path for ultimate success. And so, you know, most people watching this video will do nothing. Um, so recognize that. Yeah, if you've got the mindset, you got this. Uh, yeah. And it's, it's like something that's also somewhat obvious. Like uh, Elon Musk uh, has just started a new division in X and XA and like, you know, the Twitter, the everything app. Um, for making video games because you can see you know, how, how good uh, AI has gotten in making games. You should be able to one-shot a game. You know, there's examples out there on the internet. So you know, if you got five minutes, just make a game uh, and then try it out you know, yourself. Yeah, like all the tools are there. We've not gone down this path at all. <laughs> but the fact that it doesn't exist at all is pretty insane. Yeah, Roblox, like, Roblox is the perfect is place for vibe coding. Yeah. Seriously, it's the perfect substrate. So whoever does this, like, um, you're going to, you're set for life. Um, this is what, you think of, normally a hackathon gives you a single bonus. This yeah. will give you a $1,000 bonus plus a salary plus the equity in this company to go retire your parents, buy them their dream home. Um, so it's like. Generational wealth. Hopefully Roblox, yeah. someone here recognizes it. Both of us in the past built cool things and sold them. We were in your shoes. Now we're here to help bring up those uh, of you who have the magic. The magic is just believing in your ability to do the thing. Good luck. Good luck.